There's no doubt that technology has changed our lives in ways we see every day. It's also changed our lives in ways we don't see as well. For instance, crash testing automobiles. Once the only way to know whether an occupant would be safe in a crash was to crash test real cars over and over, looking for ways to improve the vehicle's safety. Now with the help of computer simulation, thousands of important crash tests can be run on a single vehicle without denting a fender. When we think of a simulation, it's really a mathematical way to represent what happens in the real world. And once we can represent this uh, mathematically, literally you can do hundreds, much less expensively, much faster, to get to a, a far better state of design. At General Motors, for example, they run an average of 10 live crash tests a week. But in the same week, they run over 1,000 simulated crash tests on a computer that has the processing power of 35,000 laptops. On this day, we were allowed to see a live crash test of the soon-to-be-released Chevrolet Cruze. Our goal is to make the Chevy Cruze the safest vehicle in its class. In order to do that, we have performed hundreds of simulations during the early design phase. Later on, we do crash testing on the vehicle to double-check the simulations and make sure that we can deliver a safe and fuel-efficient vehicle for our customers. Live crash tests like this one cost an automaker upwards of a million dollars per vehicle. Prior to the 1990s, when crash simulation software was developed, Chevrolet would have had to crash over a hundred cruises to satisfy the government crash requirements. We perform uh, thousands of simulations per year, and those simulations are used to develop our vehicle de designs. Uh, after the simulations are done, uh, vehicles are actually crashed and those uh, tests are used to uh, double check our designs to make sure that we provide the safest vehicles for our customers. In the 80s, it took twice as long to design, engineer and test a new vehicle. Today, GM will run hundreds of simulations to optimize a vehicle's design so that only a couple dozen live crash tests will be needed to satisfy the government and GM standards. The new cruise with 10 airbags is expected to perform very well in consumer safety performance testing and will be available later this year. I'm Chris Hansen.